Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 52, round of 32 match between Silly Billy Belly and his High Elves and Vlad GR and his Underworld. In the booth is... Oh, how can, how can you introduce him? The man who walked into a lamppost. <laughs> <laughs> In purely belter. It's Flicky Flack. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Glorious intro, thanks, Jim. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear me. I mean, that's something to put on your CV, though, isn't it? Pretty amazing. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, looking at the teams, the High Elves have got a Natty. Oh, it's the High Elves with a Natty. That's pretty cool, isn't it? It is. Love a Natty. Oof. Especially when it's... Uh... A non uh, Skaven. Mmm. I don't know who Silly Billy. Who, people know who Silly Billy Billy is, don't they? I don't know who it is. It's somebody's. Yeah, office. I'm sure I knew at some point. Uh, someone in chat will probably be able to remember. I've mm. forgotten. It's not Shergant, is it? No, oh, it could be. It could it be. be. It know. could be. Shergant. Um. <laughs> but that's the name that <laughs> the name that Calcium refused to say when I when I commentated with him because he said it was ridiculous. Oh, Rusey, yeah, Rusey, Rusey, that's uh... right, Rusey, Rusey. Um, so yeah, so he's got you know a high elf team <laughs> and a somewhat nondescript, normal looking high elf team that has a natty. Um, Vlad Gr has two tackle. Claw Mighty, he's one with piling on. He's down a bunch of TV. So he has Skitter. Skitter Stab Stab, who's just called Skitter for some reason. And 14 players. So it's all going to be whether these tackle killers can kill everything or not, basically, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. They are a scary combination, especially when you're elves. Both yeah. having tackle, one having palm. Fantastic. Kind of negates the, the high elves advantage over lots of the other elves is, you know, having that armor it makes them a bit more durable and then suddenly two claw tackle pommers come along. Yeah, that's why that's why I feel like uh, Dark Elves haven't done so well in, in, you know, CCL and that is just because, you know, like they actually get hurt by the uh, the mines mm. AV and obviously the same is somewhat true of high elves, though at least they have the movement, don't they? I else do have the they do. It's a team that I've never really been able to get off the ground. I've tried a couple of times, inspired by uh, by your runs. I always wanted to do well with them. Was never never able to. Always drifted back to woodies whenever I fancied a bit of elfing. Yeah, wood woodies are just better, really. To be honest, <laughs> like woodies are it. You know, it's it's a bit like pro elves. You know, like you can use. Why use pro elves when when they're just worth worse woodies? But they're also just worse high elves. The high elves are also <laughs> yeah. just worse woodies. You know, like just yeah, just everything is just worse woodies, really. Though, for, interestingly, um, dark elves will probably get even better in Blood Bowl three with uh, you know nobody being able to get movement ten. So like. The advantage of the high elves movement is gone, right, in yeah. Blood Bowl Three, because well, you can just give movement guaranteed on blitzers. So uh, yeah, Dark Elves completely, completely dominant. The dominant elf form of elf in uh, Blood Bowl Three, if anybody plays it. <laughs> but more likely Blood Bowl uh, 2020 and Fumble. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I've been doing quite a bit of fumbling this uh, this last week. Mm. And enjoying it. Getting ready for UKTC. Oh, yes, yeah. Nickcon, as it's also known as. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Be uh, looking forward to, uh, to meeting a few guys there. Meeting Nick and a few others. Glorious. I think Sata's going as well. Skuro as well, all the way from Boston. Really? Is that mm. actually happening? I assumed it was a joke. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm pretty. I mean, I'd, would would Skuro joke? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I have uh, misjudged this man. <laughs> I've never known a more serious person than Skuro Metzo. <laughs> <laughs> well, this was more or less safe. I mean, 
The good thing is he's got a strength four carrier, so he can be a little bit lax with the ball. Yeah, safety. He's got a, he has got a slight sort of weak diagonal. It was just a bit. It was just a bit shit. I mean, if he hadn't got the, if he hadn't got the armor break there, he'd get stuck on a mm. sidestep on him instantly. Yeah. And pretty easy to go one D. But as it is, just play position. The problem with Underworld is, of course, the rest of the team is absolute garbage, isn't it? Apart from the killers, <laughs> yeah, There's it some goblins. Is. You can get a pretty scary troll. Yeah, but no tentacles, which would be uh, yeah, tentacles. As hideous as the uh, the tentacles are on a uh, on an underworld troll, it would be good to have. Yeah, some people don't like how they look, do they? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is this is a tough turn, isn't it? Um, stupid troll. Basically potatoing and trusting in a uh, dodges. And strength four, of course. In strength four, we trust. We've got, got oh, you know, yes. two heads on both of these no, goblins. I won't so. give in That's until I'm oh, victorious. Glorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Can't have ads while I am in the booth. <laughs> oh yeah, what a legend. <laughs> Thank you very much, Flicky Flack. Over two years. Crazy, eh? No, great two years. Unbelievable. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Thank you for all the content. You've entertained me for a long, long time. Oh, thanks. Oh! We started with just a 2+. plus. There's been lots of 1s, isn't there, in this game already for... Silly Billy Belly slash Rusey, yeah. Well, I think I might say Rusey because it's easier to say than Silly Billy Belly. It's a fucking stupid name, isn't it? Much easier. Hello, David. Yeah, it's, it's difficult, isn't it, when you're elves and you want to get the momentum, you want to get your guys in the right place, ready to respond, and then you're feeling those early dodges, and yeah, it, it can get frustrating. Oof. And then you can't do as much... Uh, you know, you can't do as much for the rest of the turn because you burned that reroll early. Yeah. Especially when they've got tackle and, you know, and you, you guys are based up. Mm. Looks like we're going to see a surf here. Oh, wow, well, yeah, everyone's at zero rerolls already. Flip me, guys. Maybe uh, both yeah. could have eaten some. I don't things. think I don't think the serve compromises the, the position too much. Oof. That's why you don't base goblins casually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, thanks, game. Oh, saved. By the skulls. Yeah, yeah, no rerolls because you would really have wanted to reroll to uh, to get that cheeky little surf. Yeah, absolutely, well worth. If even if it, I mean, if it's your last reroll, you you still probably take it because it's a it's a big momentum shift. Mm. Oh, so is that. Oh, there we go. Instead of losing an elf on the pitch, he's uh, he's got skitter instead. Hmm. Now. He, ooh. Don't like that. I would have much preferred to have freed the uh, freed the blitzer and done something. But I guess this this like threatens the stall. I guess, but I would have rather got or maybe even put the catcher on the ball as well. Somehow. Hmm. Yeah, Tom. Interesting dodge through through the tackles ones to get to the front, isn't it? Yeah, he's been he's been he's been trying to do that. To be fair, although he's rolled a bunch of ones, he has been trying some uh, some uh, you know more speculative dodges like that. Yeah, one has finally paid off. Let's 
footsteps so won't be surfed. <laughs> and gets tackle on two goblins, pretty sick. And there's a score. Oh wow, it's looking real bad all of a sudden. But no re-rolls, so still not easy. Don't say it's over. <laughs> Never over, Jim. Oof. I feel like that could have been done better, but hey. Like, go with these two and blitz with him, maybe? I don't know. This is kind of alright, but if he gets the power. Oh, <laughs> if he gets the power, he dub skulls! Oh. And oh. ball goes out. In the end zone. Flip me. This me. one goes forward here. That's the first thing you do. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah, you've got two turns to sort. Two. I guess you just pick it up and hold. Yeah, get it, yeah, get it straight on him. It's the tackle. Tackle. Tackle's tagged. And KO'd, in fact. <laughs> hey! Ouch. Oh, apple. Big apple on the KO. Huge. It is. I mean, the, the KO's are mounting up, I guess. I just didn't want to risk it. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Because he's probably only going to get one roll. He's getting around the core polar, so... Yeah, that's true. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, what we're thinking, Red um, he can't surf him, he's got a sidestep. He's just got to... You've got yeah, to hit him. Wrestle around and hope. So had to hit from the corner, right? Had to hit from the corner. He's hit from the wrong direction there, hasn't he? Yeah. Because then he gets to sidestep into a much better position for, for his next turn. Yep. Double one. Wow. <laughs> wow. His dice have been terrible. His dodge dice. Flip. They have, and yet he's still got the stop. Yeah. Two out of three back. Three out of three back. Flip me. No, uh, no babes. Just good rolls. Something to learn for everybody watching. Don't bother getting babes. Just roll good dice. <laughs> Not good advice for life, but, but good for Blood Bowl. Oh, he saw the guard. Amazing. So, yeah, I think... I mean, to be honest, I didn't see where those re-rolls really went. Like, no, neither, in that did half. <laughs> neither did I. Neither did I. I mean, I did on the elves, I guess. Not on the... On the underworld. They just seemed to burn through them. Yeah, first turn he greed re-rolled uh, with the claw pommer. Um, and right. that was the only one that I noticed. Okay, I must have missed that one. So that's, yeah, that's really caught up to him, hasn't it? Yeah, it did, yeah. Well, nil-nil actually isn't that bad for uh, for Vlad Giare, because, like, you know, you'd kind of expect 1-1 one, one with a natty. True, yeah. We were tackle dodge fails. Thank you, Thomas T. There's only one tackler as well, isn't there? So maybe he should have tried to target him a bit better than what he did. But I mean, that is what he used the reroll on, I think, was hitting the uh, corp. I mean, the tackler. That's two for two on stuns on the troll. Mmm. Armor 10, not so good. No. Running all around to get a hit. Uh, not sure that was worth it. I might have just done... 
I guess it's pretty safe actually, isn't it? Because this one being in the way, yeah, it's pretty good actually. Yep, all the good elves are, yep, down two players, but there's two of the worst ones. And then the underworld's got everybody, but, you know. They're mostly goblins. They're mostly goblins and shit, and he's, you know, he's down in the field with a dead skitter, so. I mean, I like skitter. He's, he's a good player, but he's still not an elf. No. It's, I mean, funny enough for Underworld, Underworld, like, it's an upgrade, right? Because he's on the mm. pitch instead of a goblin. So, like, he is a gutter runner. Even, like, yeah. even if you treat him as a skilled gutter runner, he's still a gutter runner. Yeah, um, absolutely. But just, you know, generally, if you've got him, it means you're down TV, which it's generally not down, not good to be down TV. Um, but, yeah, in this case, I guess it probably, with Underworld, it probably is better to be down TV enough to get Skitter. I don't know how much he is, about 160 maybe? 150, 160, something like that. Yeah, something like that, 160 I think. Mm. I think so. I think it's 160. <laughs> so yeah, he's one of the, the better value stars. There's just a few few in the game, aren't there, where they're, they're actually worth their, their value and they're not horribly overpriced. Yeah, very few are good. Um, yeah... Cheney and Silly Billy, I think off the top of my head, are the other two that I really feel like they're worth it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Gr Griff is, but I mean, Griff is super expensive. Super yeah, expensive. Yeah, he is amazing, though. Yeah. And uh, what's he called? The Bloodstep Skink. He's uh, alright, isn't he? Whatever he's called. Oh, yeah, I took him uh, back in TSD when I randomly drew um, Slan. No, glorious. Well, not Slan, whatever they're called. Kislev? Kislev, that's it. Hemlock, yeah, that's the one. Hemlock, he's pretty decent. Good foul there, wasn't it? Maybe he's a poor play from Vlad Gia to allow hit that, this huge foul. Yeah. And while not costing position at all, part of a massive cage. Like, that was a perfect gang foul there. But then just random. <laughs> Rando Kaz with a strength 4 throw, lovely. Yeah, it was way too easy, yep. Now he's conserving his rerolls after burning through them all last time. <laughs> last time. Gonna yeah, he's learned his lesson. Mm. I think it may be too late, but we'll see. It sure looks it, doesn't it? Yeah, I'd be very happy if I was in the alt position right now. Yeah. You've got the exact field position you want, you're making good inroads up on one side. You've nullified one of their danger men. He was in foul, Mr. Foul bit, yeah. Yeah, this is looking brutal. I mean, I wouldn't say it's over, but uh, I'd be very confident. Very experienced, very good uh, elf coach there. Dark elf, wood elf, high elf. Mm. All, well, high 60s on dark elves. Over 70% on the other two. Mm. Very impressive. Not sure about that reroll, to be honest, though. But uh, I guess he had four on it. You know, he might yeah, have think, the guard. Yeah. It's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's okay. Yeah. No, you see, he's got four. Yeah. Not what I would have done, but probably okay. <laughs> Kaz are starting to pile up. It's all shitters, but they're starting to pile up. Yeah, I think he'll still... He's, he should still be okay. Yeah. It's still going to be very difficult for them to get enough in the way this turn, and I think this is the crucial turn where the elves will sort of flip, like, completely get the wrong side of him now. Flip me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he did know Skitter was downfield, yep. Hello, Ducky. Hey, Ducky. Yeah, the troll's been really stupid. It has. It's, it's, it's either been stunned or or stupid. I mean, that is the name of its ability, but it, <laughs> it's been, it actually has been really stupid. Ha! 
Yeah, so he gets to the other side. He, like you say though, the Kaz building up, he won't want to score early. He really won't want to give um, Skitter a chance to level these scores. And he has jumped and into the corner can, here. You know, with Skitter, you've got a very simple two turn. Yeah, super, super easy two turn. Helps the one turn as well, right? Means you don't have to go for the uh, yeah. goblin lob. Yeah, so. absolutely. As much fun as we all like to see a, a lobbed goblin. Mm. <laughs> I mean, if you count mummies as big guys in Game Revision, then yes. If you count big guys as one with a nega trait, then um, it would depend on the rest of the team, I guess, would be my answer. Yeah, I mean, Crocs is generally seen as as the best big guy on, on stats and importance for the team, but... Yeah. Yeah, that's is, is it in the context of the team or what? Yeah. Yeah, I guess I guess the Crocs and the Underworld Troll are the only ones that I would always take. And well no tree men on halflings and Yeah. Um Oh here we go. Skitters in not does that not you get would ever yourself. No. God no. Oh, stab fail. He's done all right, though. He's he's really got him boxed in here. Mm. I think f the failing to to knock over the thrower certainly helped. Well, certainly caused the elves more problems. Uh, but he's just going to go for uh, nice surf, is he? Yeah. yeah. I'm not afraid of the three pluses. Oh, doesn't hit from. Oh, okay. Just going for the surf. It's a little bit greedy. <laughs> it's a little bit greedy. The double surf. Mm. Yeah, Ducky, I'd find it very hard to cut any. <laughs> oh, dear me. There's another. Anything with really stupid as my uh, as a favourite big guy. Mm. It's just so annoying to have to to keep someone next to it. Yeah, it is. There's, there's lots of matches where the beast is terrible. Whereas there's no matches where a crocs is terrible, is there? And there's ones where a tree's bad as well. I remember that, uh, I remember seeing that game where we got your, uh, your beast Ooh. caught from. Oh, look, the surf. Yeah. Lovely. I'm gonna get yeah, another the one. Yeah. Flipping no, no, beast, no. I said, didn't I? Flipping. Yeah. <laughs> flipping beast. <laughs> yeah, I think you just needed to get it round in front to, to make a surf with it and and it's stupided. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't very happy. Then I made like about five GFIs and it didn't matter and I got the surf in the end. <laughs> yeah. Classic. Classic Jim. Yeah, at least there was a happy ending. So just going for the surf here. Which is fair enough, isn't yeah, it? Lots of surfs. Mmm. Quite a fun little surf war. Yeah. But I mean if you count mummies as big guys, then yeah, obviously mummies are big. Yeah, mummies are is. Depending on format. Depending on format. Um, Two strength five mighty blows out of the box. Like, thingies are really good, aren't they? The fact that you can get four Tomb Guardians and they're only 100. Like, Tomb Guardians are pretty amazing. They are, but they're also frustrating because they don't have Mighty Blow, so they take so much longer to, to skill up. Mm -hmm. Interesting, though, isn't it, how much goes into these kind of things? Wait, I've got... Here we go, there's another one. Yep. Yeah. Not many blades left at the end of this drive. I know, what a crazy, what a crazy half, like, just infinite surfs. Yeah, no frenzy either. No, just... <laughs> just 
good old fashioned, I'm going to stand next to the sideline. <laughs> and then I'm going to do it back. Mm. Mm, okay. Let's... How safe is this ball? Mm. It's okay. Mm. Is he going to 1D? No, he's not going to 1D. Wee, the troll moved on a four. Yeah, you might as well do the GFIs if he's up. Mm. Get him in contact. Bit of ball contact. Nope, here we go again. Yeah, so we've got the what, goblin dodge and then a uh, 3 plus for 2D. Yep. Easy. Easy. Oh, oh Kaz! John! Not the Natty! Badly hurt. Oh my and goodness, the, the elves! The have to win there. this now. Flip me. They've somehow got to get this ball in the end zone, or they really don't have much chance in overtime now. <laughs> Finally, the another one. something. Yeah, got another Kaz. Is that the guard? Mm. Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Mm. Give himself a root, needs a three. Big three. Ooh. Pops <laughs> dodge. That <laughs> makes it. Flip me. <laughs> Flip me. Desperado was a there. Desperado was a film starring Fimeo as well, wasn't it? <laughs> That's what I remember. <laughs> okay, well you've got six L's to try and stop this. Mm. Two with sidestep. Yep. So, if that's the one with sidestep, or the one without sidestep, do you not position the other three in a way that stops the blitz around the back on him? Yes, yeah, these three should have been further forward, probably, yeah. to stop getting at him, because this is the best way to score, is by blitzing him. Like, obviously you can go for the, uh... Because, like, you're not stopping the, the throw teammate anyway, right? So... No. Like, having those three back there isn't doing anything. But obviously, you, you try and get the skitter score, and if you can't get the skitter score, then you uh, probably didn't need to use the whole method. Probably could have gone direct. But I guess the yeah. fact that you've got the troll as well means that maybe you relegated to going for the whole method a little bit. Wow. Oh dear. Use the oh, reroll, no. and he had wrestle. That's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, he could have kept that, couldn't he? He could have done and then just gone for the uh, throw teammate. So interesting how, how much he doesn't like the throw teammate. <laughs> yeah. I guess it would be interesting to... Uh, it's work, it's You can work it out, can't you? Is it, you know, better odds of doing a throw teammate with a reroll or a, a skitter score without? Yeah. He's decided the skitter score without is is the better, the better odds. Maybe he's right. Maybe. Let's uh, let's see, because we'll know whether he scores or not, whether it was the right thing to do or not. <laughs> yep. That, that, that's how it works. It was definitely wrong to GFI and pass, because the intercept was a 6+, plus and you can't die on an intercept. <laughs> yeah. So that was... <laughs> the, the, the GFI to avoid the intercept is definitely correct if you have a re-roll, because you can re-roll the 1. Yeah. But um, with, without a re-roll, that was... 100% incorrect GFI there, but you know, fair enough. And yep, Skitter gets the score. Easy. He does. And that is going to leave a very tricky overtime for the Elves. Mm. Well, they won the toss, though. Okay, well, that gives them a fighting chance. I think without the toss, you'd, you'd maybe call that a good game. Yep. But yep. Elves can two-turn with, you know... Easily with six, they can do it with four or five fairly comfortably with a, a little bit of fair wind. 
Imagine if he had this guy still. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, it's, it, it was, yeah, it was when he went out with the cars. I, uh, I was genuinely concerned for them. Yeah, that was that was the equity shift. It was. That was the moment. So, you just try and give yourself as much chance as you can to get somebody in scoring range. Yeah. And get it done quick. I don't think you do that by putting an extra person on the LOS. <laughs> yeah, that's an odd one. What? Not sure his thinking on... And he, oh, he oh, caught yeah. it, that's why he put it there, because he knew he'd catch it. Yeah, can you imagine if that was in an empty square? That would be a, a bit of a pain. Yeah. Wow. So it looks like he's going, trying going through the middle. He hasn't got the pow. Still fine with dodges. Now, do you take the ball through, or do you just take receivers through and protect the ball in the back of it? Oh dear. Oh, oh dear. There's his last re roll. Yeah. What do you do, Jim? Oh god. Do you take the ball? I don't know. No. Go back. I don't know, it's hard, yeah. I don't even know what I'd have done there, honestly, how to play that. No. Probably would have blitzed with my tackler. <laughs> you know, that's for sure. Yeah. I wanted to hit the goblin with tackle and not with the catcher. So really, it's that catcher. Yeah, he wants that catcher down, and he's got him. In, I mean, in this case, or don't, yeah, but like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's normally it's better to do the. I was just for the people watching who aren't as good as Blood Bowl as Ordon Achilles. Um, that's why I was saying it, right? So, like, you know, normally the GFI is better because you've got to reroll for it. Oh my god, that you can reroll with your oh. opponent. You know, you. Them rolling a six. Rerolls can't help, if you see what I mean. So we're going to do a handoff and then a pass. Skitter on the receiver is pretty bad, yeah. Tail. It shadowing. Is. Yeah. Movement yeah. nine shadowing as well. That's not nice at all, is it? Mm. Keep making them do one in nines. <laughs> no. Oh. Tail fails. Wouldn't have happened to Chunte to follow them the whole length of the pitch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <coughs> oh, and then it just rolls a one. <laughs> Double one. Wow. So all oh. those extra rolls from Skitter is what made yeah. that double one happen. Yeah. The more dice you can make the opponent roll, the better chance they have to fail something. Mm. <laughs> I wasn't yeah, never, Tom. <laughs> I wasn't never taking ever. the piss out of Odon, Tom. I was sick. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I wasn't being mean, Odin. No, he was being mean to the viewers, suggesting anyone could be as at his Odon in chat. <laughs> gets the power. Ooh, gets him on reroll. Wow. Oh, he's caught the ball. Dirty Dino. Yeah, I think the elves really needed that ball on the ground somewhere yes. to have any sort of chance. I mean, don't tell Elliot. <laughs> no. <laughs> but it's not looking good. <laughs> it isn't. Another snake. <laughs> wow. <laughs> His, his dice rolls have been something, to be fair. I don't think Ruzi will feel too bad about losing this game. Like, you know, I, I generally feel bad when I've played shit or something more than yeah. when I've just been dice-like. Like, this has been a pretty much a dicing, right? No players left. Millions of ones on dodges. And could have still won as well, right? Has had some chances. Still pretty close. Yeah, and there was still plenty of... Uh... 
Dice to be rolled on that one turn after the reroll, wasn't it? And it was, yeah. Yeah, I, I guess the fact that Skit is a loner tilt, tilts you into, like, yeah. tilts in favour of using the reroll because the sure. reroll wouldn't be as valuable on a loner anyway. Yeah. Super interesting. Um, but, yep, there you go. Congratulations to Vlad GR. Commiserations to Rusey slash Silly Billy Belly. Thank you very much. I nearly said fine, me. <laughs> Oh, don't, don't, because then I'll try and do the accent and no one wants that. <laughs> yes, do it, Flicky. <laughs> Become with an F, right? So I just went, I always went in to find me. Thank you very much, Flicky. It's been glorious having you in the booth. Very welcome. Glorious. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic. <laughs>